Jubilee Kids. As you can see, we've got helpers today for our worship. And it's Dennis. Say hello, Dennis. Hello. And we've got Pat. Hello, everyone. And we've also got Lexi, Andy, Lexi, that might join in as well. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start with one of Den Dennis's favourite songs. And it's all about coffee pots and teapots. You ready? Ready. Thank you. Like a coffee pot. Coffee pot. Coffee pot so long and thin, long and thin. Just have a face like a teapot. Teapot. Oh, there's the Jesus wind. We want everybody to be happy. We want everybody to be glad. We want everybody to be happy in the world. And we don't want anybody sad. So Dedicated to Vernon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Our next song is called Great Great Brill Brill, Wicked Wicked, Skill Skill. <clears throat> now really watch the actions in this one. Dennis has got them off to a fine art here. Sure. So really watch Den. And Pat, she's really good as well. <laughs> Lexi, hope you're going to join in this time. <laughs> okay, you ready? Ready. Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to our second session in our Flame Summer Series. I have a new hat on, as you can see. Gone is the cowgirl hat. Say hello to the jester hat. Can you guess what I might be wearing next time? We talked last week about the fruits of the spirit, and we met with our puppet, Amelia, to hear about her little situation with her friend, Frog. Frog had taken her ball and she was very sad about it. She'd heard that the Holy Spirit can help us to love even when it's difficult. She asked God to help her love Frog even though he hadn't said he was sorry. 
When we love Jesus and follow him, he sends us his Holy Spirit to help us with so many things. He promises to give us love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. Today we're going to talk about joy. First, what is joy? Many will say it's a good feeling produced by happiness. Christian joy is even better. It's a good feeling produced by seeing the beauty in Jesus and all of creation. Sometimes bad things happen in life and we may feel sad. We may even feel despair. That's a big word that means feeling sad plus giving up. It's normal to feel sadness sometimes, but the joy that the Holy Spirit gives us will help us not to give up. So how do we get joy? Well, we need to remember three things. Firstly, God is our joy because of who he is. We know that God is good and we are God's children. Second, God's promises in the Bible give us joy. There are many of them. And third, our hope that we will live forever in heaven with Jesus gives us joy. In Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 9, it says, The joy of the Lord is our strength in sadness. We don't have to give up. We can still choose joy. Ask the Holy Spirit and he will help you. So, for today we're going to have an object lesson and we're going to learn about how having joy in our hearts can help us through the rough times. So I have my little friend here and this little guy is a happy guy, I'm sure you'd agree. He has a nice, nice big smile. And over here I have a candle. Now this represents somebody who's feeling quite happy, but the candle, the fire, actually represents bad things that can happen in our lives. Okay, now if we don't have any joy in us, this is empty, okay, then, and we don't have the Holy Spirit joy, when things happen and it gets really difficult, what can happen? <laughs> Bang! We lose our joy. If we didn't have it in the first place, we just fall apart. Okay, but then we have this guy here. Okay, and this guy, I don't know if you can see, but it's full of water and the water represents the joy, the joy we get from the Holy Spirit, okay? And if things get difficult, then with the joy in our hearts, we can stand, we can withstand, look at that, we can withstand all of the difficulties that we might have in life because we have the joy from the Holy Spirit and it doesn't blow up. Our joy remains even though difficulties happen. Wow, that was exciting. Do you like explosions, Frog? Not really. They make me feel a bit scared. My friend Bear likes loud bangs though. I guess we're all different. Yes, we are all different, Frog, but one thing is the same. What's that? As God's children, we can ask the Holy Spirit for help in our lives. You know, Amelia did last week when she was upset about you taking her ball. She did? Yes, she did. Have you said sorry to her for taking your ball yet? No, I haven't. I guess I should, though. Yes, I think that would be very kind. I remember when someone wasn't very kind to me once. In fact, several people weren't kind to me all in a row. It made me really want to give up on being friends with anyone. Really? Yes, but I remember the Holy Spirit can help us choose joy. So I asked for his help and he reminded me that I have lots of promises from God about how he loves me and he made me and I have a purpose. He also reminded me that I'm going to live forever in heaven with him. So that gave me hope and made me feel joy, even though others weren't being kind to me at the time. Wow, Frog, that's so cool. I love it that the Holy Spirit helps us with joy. We have some good reasons to feel joyful as followers of Jesus, don't we? We sure do. 
Thanks so much for sharing that with us, Frog. You're welcome. Bye-bye. So remember, even when you're sad, you can still have joy in your heart. Now, we're having a weekly challenge. Last week's challenge was to demonstrate God's love to someone in an extra special way. Remember to get a grown-up to email me so you can get a certificate as an award for completing the challenge. This week's challenge is to tell us about a time when you felt sad, but ask the Holy Spirit to help you remember God's promises to you and to give you hope and help you feel joy. There may be an instance this week when you might feel sad about something, but I want to encourage you to ask the Holy Spirit to help you feel joy. Then tell us about it. The email address is at the bottom of the screen. Have a good week, everyone. Bye-bye.